Hi, my name is Michelle Pippen, and I am the proud mom of a Currituck County High School 2020 graduate this year. And this video is an open letter, a demand for new and more considered action to our Board of Education, to our Superintendent uh, Mark Stefanik, and to our Assistant Superintendent Ms. Renee Dowdy. I want to explain our current situation. In the executive order number 141, dated May 20th, 2020, and signed by our governor, Roy Cooper, he opened our beaches, our restaurants were reopened, outdoor weddings were permitted, public schools can now operate day camps, even um, overnight camps for kids have now been, uh, have provisions made for that. Retail stores are open. But on top of all of this, the governor actually put in writing, black and white, a line in his executive order that fully exempts educational institutions from following the prohibition on mass gatherings, which limits gatherings outside to 25 people. I wanna quote directly from executive order number 141. The prohibition on mass gatherings also does not apply to educational institutions or government operations. Pretty straightforward, but if you wanted a little bit more, um, you know, nuance, I guess, to that very, very clear exemption, you can call the Lieutenant Governor's office. When you do, they're gonna get a little frustrated with you as they did with us when we called just saying, hey, can you put in writing that it's okay for us to have an outdoor commencement ceremony for our Currituck County 2020 students. They're gonna get frustrated with you because they've already put it in writing in executive order number 141 and they can direct you to that. And I would love to direct all of the decision makers to that specific document about phase two reopening of, of North Carolina. Actually, not only can, are we exempt from limiting the commencement ceremony to 25 people at a time, even indoor spaces like a mall or shopping center are also exempt from the mass gathering. Uh, limit, but I digress. I want to say all of this to make it very clear that Currituck County School Board and our superintendent and assistant superintendent, whoever's involved in this decision, has no defensible or sensible reason to deny our 2020 graduates a traditional commencement ceremony to be held outside. Yet, for anybody not following, here's what they have proposed. <laughs> Their option is that we have 10 separate ceremonies where 25 people, 25 students are put in alphabetical order. You're going to graduate with people you might not have even been close to. Instead of watching live speeches from a valid Victorian, you're going to watch a video replay. And the parents are expected to watch their child walk the stage from inside of our cars in the parking lot. By the way, only one car per student is permitted. Fortunately, Currituck County has no blended families that might be affected by this little thing, right? This is an absolutely unacceptable, inconscionable option when we have every legal right to have an outdoor commencement ceremony on behalf of our children who have been working for 12 years to get to this moment. Since this proposed idea is absolutely unacceptable, here's what the parents of Curry Tuck County would like to propose. One, yeah, we have the commencement ceremony on June 11 as already planned. We have one way in, one way out. We have parents sit, A through M parents sit on the home side, N through Z parents sit on the visitor side, right? So that we can socially distance by families. Graduates sit on the, um, on the field six feet apart. The Sheriff's Department has graciously agreed to give us whatever we need. So if you feel like you need to have temperatures taken at, before people come in, that's totally fine. If you feel the need to have us wear a face covering to watch our children graduate, totally fine. We'll do whatever it takes. If you want us to sign a waiver before we enter into the stadium to say we won't hold the school liable if we catch a virus, we're open to that as well. We can have only one kid on stage at a time. We can even do tickets like we would if it was a rain, you know, rain um, on the graduation day. So only each student only gets a certain number of people to be able to watch them graduate. Alternatively, a very, very distant second option is we postpone the commencement ceremony to a later date. But frankly, according to the governor's order, there is no reason to do that. And there is absolutely no conscious 
no reason at all to do what you guys have proposed, which is wholly unacceptable. And so today, the parents of Currituck County come to you and ask you to reconsider. We're demanding new action that honors our 2020 graduates. I appreciate your consideration. We will be continuing to follow up with you because we are fighting for our kids and we expect you to do the same. Talk to you soon.